Hey everyone, my name is Meredith and I'd like to welcome you to the Keep It Pro training call brought to you by Networking Wisdom each and every Sunday at 4 p.m. Pacific for the past seven years. This call is geared for the entrepreneur inside of you. Here, you will not only learn business skills, but also life skills that will take you to the next level. I have the honor and privilege to introduce the creator and host of this call, Mr. Ramacio Fulcher. Ramacio is an extremely successful international entrepreneur, as well as a sought-after leader, trainer, coach, and mentor. Ramacio not only teaches others, but he himself applies what he teaches through his intense focus and dedication, which has allowed him to achieve unprecedented success. In the seven years I've known Ramacio, I've seen him build a team of over 750,000 people, I've seen him do over $2 billion in sales, and I've seen him break records in network marketing. Although Ramacio loves the network marketing industry, over the last several years, he has shifted gears and entered the commodities and finance world. This change was not by choice, but rather he was guided by God to take this un new unchartered path. Using his strong faith and work ethic, he, was, he has excelled at this industry as well. Opening up doors of expansion that would have never known existed if he had not followed God's instructions. Having said that, his true love is still to share his experiences and knowledge to help others achieve their goals. He is here today to do what he does best, lay out success principles and strategies in a way that is simple and easy to understand. He is here to serve you, to teach you, to enlighten you. I recommend that you grab a pen and paper and get ready for what he has in store for you today whether this call enlightens you or provides confirmation of what you already know, you're going to want to take notes. Without further ado, let me get out of the way and introduce your millionaire mentor, Marketplace Minister, Mr. Ramacio Fulcher. Are you there? Absolutely, I'm here. Thank you so much, Meredith, for stepping up, as you always do, and being our illustrious host. I want to welcome everyone back again for another edition of the Sunday Keep It Pro training call. It's, we're almost coming up on eight years, guys, that we've been doing this call every single Sunday. If you are new to this platform, we welcome you with open arms. Uh, I'm going to let you know what to expect from this platform. It's absolutely free. We've never charged one dime in eight years, and it will always be free. You have my promise. You have my solemn promise. This call will always be free. The intention of this call is we teach two specific things on Sundays at 4 o'clock Pacific. Number one, we teach the specific skills that you need to get yourself to the very top of whatever it is that you're promoting. L let me be real clear. The word promotion means to make known. So whether it doesn't matter what you're promoting. It doesn't matter what size of businesswoman or businessman that you may be. None of, that is, none of that matters. We are going to teach you the specific skills that you need to get yourself to the very top of whatever it is you're doing. To me, that's great news. Someone's going to teach you for free how to get to the top of what it is that you're doing. And you're not listening to someone that has never been to the top. Some, you're listening to someone that only knows the top. I don't know what it's like to stay at the bottom I'm certainly not bragging. I work, I work very, very hard to accumulate the skills that I've learned, and I have many people to thank for that. But one of those people I thank is myself, and that is for applying the skills that I've learned, applying. And so we will teach you on Sundays how to get to the top. Whatever it is that you're doing, we're going to teach you how to get to the top. That's something worthwhile to look forward to. But the second thing that we teach on Sundays is what we've been concentrating on for approximately the last year, year and a half. The second expectation that you can have is we're going to teach you life skills as well. You know, I'm 45 years young, and one thing I can tell you that I'm attracted to is wisdom. I don't say that to become your best friend. I say that because the more and more that God allows me to live and experience life, I realize that wisdom is the most important thing I could ever gain. Wisdom is the ability to use knowledge skillfully. Come on, man, say that one more time, please. Once again, if you got a pen, wisdom is the ability 
to use knowledge skillfully. In other words, I remember my grandmother once upon a time and my mom, she always says, baby, you can do the right thing just at the wrong time. You can say the right thing. I know your intentions were pure, but your timing was off. You know, I'm reminded, uh, <laughs> a quick little funny story. The other day, my younger brother had a little motorcycle accident. He, he's fine. He's healthy. But he had a motorcycle accident. And um, his girlfriend, you know, she came into, uh, we, we walked into the, the emergency room. He had had a quick little ankle surgery, you know, um, broke his ankle. And, and we walked into the emergency room together, his, his girlfriend and I. And uh, she was just irate. Oh, she was just hot. I mean, she was frustrated. She was pissed off. That dang old motorcycle. I told you to get rid of that motorcycle. See, our, have you learned your lesson? Now, mind you, he's, my brother, you know, he's 44. He's laying on the hospital gurney, getting ready to go into surgery. And the first word, now, again, she loves him and she cares for him, so I'm not trying to throw her under the bus. We're talking about timing here. But the first words out of her mouth, haven't you had enough of that motorcycle? See, I told you, I told you, that motorcycle, that motorcycle, midlife crisis, and blah, 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 blah. By the time we walked out of the hospital, her and I, she looked at me, and she said, Ramacio, you should have told me I shouldn't have said something about that motorcycle. And I, I looked at her, and I won't say her name, but I said to her, I said, you know, your timing was just a bit off. <laughs> See, again, we're talking about wisdom. Wisdom is knowing how to use your skills, knowing how to use knowledge that you've, that you've gained skillfully, knowing when to do it, how much of it to do. And so this is why we really focus in over the last year, year and a half, and the main thing that we've been teaching on this Sunday call is teaching you what we call life skills. Again, imagine someone that has a whole bunch of money, but if you don't know how to protect your money, if you don't know how to shelter your money, if you don't know how to grow your money, if you don't understand that there is a word called currency, if you don't understand that there's currency, that's what money is. It's currency. If you don't know how to keep it flowing, then listen, let me tell you something, homeboy. It ain't going to keep growing. So this is why we concentrate on wisdom. We teach principles. Write that down, please. This call on Sunday is a principle-based call. These are not just philosophies and opinions that we teach. No, no, no. So this is a bit different with what we do on this call. As one of my, one of my rapper friends from the Bay Area, uh, Mr. E-40 says, when you jump on this call, guys, I'm a chip from a different cliff. So this is, this is a bit different. I'm a chip from a different cliff. This is different. This is not like any other call that you've been on. It's absolutely free. It's one directional. We don't uh, do Q&As for the most part. We usually don't. And we have a multitude of different speakers that will come on from time to time. All are selected by me, and they all are proven in their field of expertise. And every person that, that we select or I select to be on this platform, I promise you, the value that they give you, write this down, is timeless. The value that they, we give you, it's timeless. It's free. We don't, we don't expect you to shout our names on Facebook or we don't expect you to run up to us and give us huge hugs when you see us in public. No, 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 no. It's absolutely free. And I want to give you a principle right now before we dive into part two of today's call. The principle of why we give so much on this conference call. I know everybody's doing podcasts and I've considered doing a podcast, but you know me, guys. I'm just a little bit different. I tend not to do the things that everybody else does. I don't know. That's just me, right? So, and I know podcasts are really fancy and they're really cool. And but you know, sometimes guys, I'm doing this conference call. I, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in a shirt and I'm in shorts and a tank top. Sometimes I'm driving. Sometimes, you know, I don't always have time to be in front of a camera, right? Sometimes I'm in town, out of town. You know, who cares what I look like, right? It's 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 what I have to say, right? It's my content, right? And that's why we love the conference call format. Now, we understand that if we do a podcast, you know, some people do do podcasts that are just all uh, vocal and no visual. So it's a point of consideration. But bottom line is, guys, we here, we've been here for the last seven and a half, almost eight years. We ain't going nowhere, baby. And I'm going to give you the principle why. You ready? You got your pen? You got your paper? Because if you get this, if you just, if all you get is what I'm about to utter right now, you got it, baby. You got it. You got the message. 
Listen, I'm talking to you before we go into 2024. You got your pen. Get your pen. Write this down. I'm about to give you the principle, the principle. Notice, a philosophy and a principle is two different things. A philosophy and a principle are two different things. The God that we serve is a God of principle. What he will do for me, he will do for you. What he will do for you, he will do for me. Come on, write this, write this, write this. Principle, 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 principle. Here it is. And here's the principle that we want everyone that listens to this live or listens on the recording, we want you to apply this principle. Perhaps what I'm about to say is the golden nugget that will change your life in every direction. You ready? Here it is. What I make happen for other people, God will make it happen for me. Write it down. I'm going to say it two more times. What I, what I make happen for other people, God will make it happen for me. What I make it ha- what I make happen for other people, God will make it happen for me. Now let's go ahead and replace my name with your name. What you make happen for other people, God is going to make it happen for you. There's somebody that's on this call right now. I'll tell you, she's an extended family member. Uh, we call her my sister, right? She's one of the sweetest people I've ever met in my life, and she just has an, a, a multitude of different gifts. Of course, she would, ne- she would shoot me, literally, if I said her name. She, she likes to be very private. She doesn't like her business out in public. But, but, but on this point that I'm making, one of the things, she's very kind. She's very giving. She's very thoughtful. Uh, she's very patient. You know what I mean? And literally, she just, if, if you follow her around and you were to watch her life, yes, she's smart and she's talented, of course, but, but one of the things that I see, no matter what she's doing, whether it's on a personal level, whether it's on a business level, whether it's family members, whether it's friends, one of the things I notice about her, she's very kind, and she always, always loves to help. She's all, whether that's a word of encouragement, whether that's sometimes money to, 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 to people, whether that's, you know, her expertise, she just loves to give herself to different causes, to different people, and I watch and see, because I have a close relationship with her, I'm able to see the fruits of her labors. In other words, I know some information about her that you'll never know. I know her level of success and multitude of different things. And I sit there and ask myself the question, why is it that she's so successful? Why is it that she's so abundant, so blessed? I want you to write this principle down, because if it'll work for her, it'll work for you. What I make happen For others, God will make it happen for me. Ladies and gentlemen, if that's all you get from the last eight years of being on this call, trust me, that's the main message. If that's all you get is just that, that is the biggest message that we have for all of you. That's why we say it every single Sunday before we we begin. Now, I want you to know these calls are always recorded. They're uploaded to our YouTube channel. You can find that on Ramasio Fulcher right there on YouTube, downloaded absolutely for free, and you can listen to the last seven, eight years. And I got to tell you, if you have an entrepreneurial bone in your body, ambition that's left unquenched, ambition that's left inside of you, stuff that you just always wanted to do, don't know how to do, but, you know, you just flirted with the idea, can I make it? Well, can I do it? How cool is it to know you've got a free call? You don't have to pay anything. You're listening to somebody who's proven. I'm not looking for more friends. I'm not looking for more notoriety. You will never hear me sell anything on this call, ever, okay? This is one directional free. Now, why am I doing it? It's because the principle that I just said, what I make happen for you, God is going to turn back around and make it happen for me. What does that mean? Let's open that up for 20 seconds. What it means is this. I've been blessed with a certain gift, a particular gift. The Bible says the gift that I have, God will make room in this world for my gift. Now, you know what God didn't tell me? He didn't tell me who needs, who benefits from my gift. He never said that. He just said that I have a gift, you have a gift, and he would make room in the world for my gift. That means that means I'm relevant. I'll always be relevant. There'll always be someone that needs what it is I got. Now, let's turn it around. There'll always, not sometimes, there'll always be someone that needs what you got. That's why the principle is what you make happen for other people, God going to turn right back around and make it happen for you. 
Now, let me explain something to you. Oh, this is getting good. This is getting real good. Just because you're a good cook, let's just say you're a good cook. I'm using this as an illustration. And let's say you're a good cook at, make, you know, making food. And you make me some food. I was hungry and you, made, you fed me, right? Thank you very much for that. I enjoyed the meal. You used your gift of cooking for me to help feed me. But that doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that all of a sudden I'm going to cook for you because I'm terrible at cooking. I'm terrible. I want you to catch what I'm saying here, guys. I want you to get this. In other words, you gave your gift to me, but it doesn't mean that I'm necessarily going to turn back around and give you the exact same gift you gave me. Doesn't mean that, number one. Number two, it also doesn't mean when we say that God will make it happen for you, it doesn't mean that I'm going to be the one that's going to give you anything. Someone else, God will use someone else to bless you for something that you've been praying for, something that you've been laboring for, something that you've been expecting. But the principle, come on, boy, now you're preaching. But the principle says what I do make happen for you by using my gift to make it happen for you, I'm the missing link for the food you needed. I'm the missing link for the information you was looking for. I'm the missing link. I'm the missing link. I'm the missing link. God's going to turn it back around and use someone else that's going to be your missing link for something that you want, need. I think you understand my point. And if you don't, re-listen to this over and over again so that you get a deep understanding of what was just said. I don't want you to get a surface-level understanding because the theme of today's call is launch into the what? Into the deep. I want you to get a deep understanding of this principle. Notice what I, how I keep emphasizing that. It's a principle. It doesn't mean do it when you feel like it. It doesn't say, well, if I feel good today, I'm going to do the principle. You do the principle anyway, and the principle will work for you. That's what I want you to get. I think many people that, that, that are on this call and that stop by and listen to us on YouTube, I really believe a lot of people, we are caught up living our own lives. And the only person that we're serving is our bosses at the jobs that we have, or perhaps the business maybe that we're selling something. And I, and I think that's far too small. I believe the God that we serve, he's hidden a gift in you that is far bigger than ha perhaps what you do for a living. Come on now. Let me say it again. I believe the God that we serve, he's hidden a gift in you. Many of you haven't even discovered what it is. Some of you have. But there's a gift that you have, something. Now, you say, well, what do you mean? What are you talking about, Ramasa, this gift? What is he talking about? Did Christmas come early? Well, yeah, it actually did, okay? Let me help you understand a gift. What is it that, what's something that you do with little effort? Like, it's just easy for you, but it's hard for other people, okay? Let me say it again. What is something that you have, something that you do, you know what I mean, but it's hard for other people? Let me go back to my sister, just real quick. One of the gifts she has as, 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 as a physician, I don't know how she got this gift. I certainly don't have it. But she has the ability, she can look at a little baby, right, a kid, and she can pretty much look at the baby and just give her a few seconds, give her a few minutes, and pretty much I can see what's wrong with that kid. What? Come on, man. What is this, some type of magic trick? You can look at a baby and kind of tell what's wrong with them? I don't have that gift. I don't have that ability. And, again, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, but you get the point what I'm saying. She has a particular gift. It's a gift. It's a gift. What I'm telling you, what I'm suggesting you, what I want you to understand right now, you have got to discover what your gift is. See, part of the reason why you're so frustrated and you're so upset and you've so got so much anxiety and such in a toil and things feel so off for you and you're just frustrated and frustrated and frustrated, my question to you would be, are you operating in your gift? Now, look, I know you have to make a living. I know you have a job. I know you've got to, quote, unquote, pay bills. Well, everybody's got to do that. But that doesn't necessarily mean just because that's what you do for a living that that is your gift. You see, so I want to encourage you to really, really discover your gift. Now, the theme of today's call is today is part two of a series that we started last week called Launch Into the Deep. For those of you that may know or do not, do not know, this is the year of 2023, the year of right now, the year of right now. 
Now, if you missed last week's call, I'm telling you, you got to do yourself a favor. Get to my YouTube channel and re-listen for free to last week's call. I promise you it will do your spirit so good. There's nothing in return that we want from you. No, I'm not looking for an offering. You don't send me any money. No, no, all I'm looking for you to do is catch these principles and pay it forward. That's it. That's it. We don't want nothing. I'm not looking for, you don't got to text me. You ain't got to send me no messages. I don't want none of that. All I want is for you to take this, which is given to you for free. Gifts are meant to share, not to keep. I'm sharing a part of my gift with you. And all I want you to do is learn from it, apply it, and pay it forward. That's it. Now, if you missed last week, you got to go. I'm telling you, man, I, I kind of want to go back and do a recap, but I can't do it because we got limited time. You've got to go back and re-listen to part one of today's series called Launch Into the Deep. Oh, man, it, it was, wow. That's all I can say. Say it back with you. Wow. It was incredible last week. I know you're not supposed to be excited about your own stuff, but whoever told you that, they lied. Sometimes you ever do some stuff and you go, wait a minute, that was me. You know, it was incredible how the Holy Spirit came through last week's call and how we laid that thing out. I'm talking about, man, that was just an amazing, amazing. You got, Listen, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I know you're looking for answers. We all are. Last week, last week, last week. You got to go back and re-listen to it last week. But we're going to continue on here with part two. Launch into the deep, into the deep into the deep. This is the year of right now. 2023 is the year of right now. We've got a few weeks left before we cross into 24. The God that I serve, I'm telling you, he told me, he told me, he told me, baby, this is the year of right now. And I want you to translate those two words right now. What does that mean for you? I can't do it for you. It's an inside job. You're going to have to do it for yourself. What is he talking about? What is he talking about? What is he saying? I don't understand. Right here, right now. What's that mean? Right now what? Right now when? That's up to you. All I was told, this is the year of right now. God told me to tell you that you know what he's talking about with those two words, right now. No, nope, not tomorrow, not next week, but what? Right now. Come on, somebody feel me out there. I don't know who it is. Maybe I'm talking to one person. Maybe I'm talking to a million people. I don't know, but God's timing is always perfect. This is the year of right now. So in saying that, here we are with a few weeks left to go before we cross into 2024, and we're doing part two. This is part two of last week's series, Launch into the Deep. Woo, man, I'm talking about last week was so off the hook, man, we broke that thing down. We broke it down last week. But anyway, we got to carry on. Today, guys, I've got three points that I want to make for you, this is a continuation from last week, all right? Uh, we talked about going deeper. I got three points that I want to make, and then we're going to be off the call today. Before I go into these three points, I want to give you a homework assignment. After this call is over, I'm asking you to spend 10 to 30 minutes, 10 minutes to 30 minutes as soon as this call is over, in meditation, prayer, whatever you want to, you know, call it, but 10 to 30 minutes, 10 to 30 minutes, and I want you to ask God, ask the Holy Spirit to give you a revelation about these three points. We're going to be off the call, guys, in about 10 to 15 minutes from now. So that means you'll still have another 10 minutes left to go, 10, 20 minutes or so, before we get to the top of the hour. So you, I'm cutting the call short intentionally. So I'm leaving you with another 10 to 20 minutes so that you can meditate. I want you to meditate. I want you, homework assignment, homework assignment, homework assignment, I want you to meditate right after this call is over and ask the Holy Spirit for a revelation about these three points. Write that down. You got a pen? Ask. I said, God, give me a revelation. See, a revelation is different. It's much deeper than just somebody's opinion. See, when you ask, the Bible says you have not because you ask not. So when you ask for a deeper revelation about these points that I'm about to lay out for you, now you, allow, you invite the Holy Spirit to come in and to make it clear and to make these points illuminate 
in your life. Let me say it again. I'm about to give you three points. But in order for these points to make sense to you, to become crystal clear to you, to become relevant, up bold, in your face for you, you have to ask the Holy Spirit to bring clarity, to bring clarity to give you a revelation about what this means for you, okay? Point number one, I want to talk to you about agreement. I want to talk to you about the difference between agreement versus alignment. Here it is. Agreement is taking, is taking the same path, but alignment is walking in the same direction. Remember, this is the year of right now. This is very important that you catch this. Hello. This is very important that you catch this. Let me say it again. Agreement is when you take the same path. When you take the same path, we're in agreement. We're in agreement. We're on the same path, right? But alignment is when you're walking in the same direction. Now, why am I, I want to underline the word alignment. There's a difference between agreement and alignment. See, alignment, it, alignment means we may not agree on everything, but we are in alignment because we're going in the same direction. You might be taking that freeway, and I might be taking this freeway, but we are traveling the same direction. The reason why this is important for you to write this down and understand this, because see, if you're not in alignment with God, then the blessings won't flow for you. Alignment does not mean perfect. I'm far from perfect. Trust me. I am far from perfect. Far. I fail every day. Some failures I know about. Some failures I don't know about. So please understand, no one is suggesting you need to be perfect. But we do want you to understand the difference between agreement and alignment. So here's my question, point number one. Are you in alignment? Are you walking in alignment with God right now? Are you walking in alignment with Christ right now? Are you walking in alignment? Look, I know you're busy. I know you came on the call and you want to listen to this multi-multi-millionaire tell you all the hidden secrets of how to get to the top and how to get rich and how to do with this and how to do that. Listen to me. This point I'm making is far greater than anything else I got to say to you. And frankly, this part that I'm making, oh, let me, let me slow it down. Let me slow it down. Let me, let me tune that thing down just a little bit. <laughs> this point I'm making, guys, it trumps a doctorate degree from Yale. It trumps a doctorate, master's, Ph.D. from Harvard. This point I'm making to you trumps the smartest person you ever thought you would aspire to be. This point I'm making to you is greater than anything that ever will, that ever was said and that ever will be said. Because this point I'm making comes from the master who created both you and I. Whether you serve him or you don't, I'm trying to get you to understand that when you start talking about launching into the deep part of life, I'm talking about your dreams. You know, when they talk about, I want, the, I want my dreams to come true. When they talk about, I want to make the impossible become possible. Well, I'm talking about when you say things like, I never thought that was possible, that that could happen to me. Oh, when I'm talking about what you thought was impossible. God knows it's totally possible. All things are possible with God. So this is why it's important if you want the impossible to happen in your lifetime, it is important that you understand alignment. What, my question is, are you walking in alignment? I make mistakes every day. You ask for forgiveness, you get yourself back up the next day, and you try again harder. That's all you can do. Do not self-condemn yourself. God knows your issues, he knows my issues, he knows your challenges. Look, everybody, including me, we all got a resume. You follow me? Everybody on this call got a resume. God don't want to hear nothing about your resume and how many people and how many millions and what you done done and how great you are. Man, miss me with all that. God ain't, he ain't tripping. He don't want to hear about none of that. Okay? God wants you to, he wants you to bring your whole entire being. Your, he knows your faults. He know what you're struggling with, and guess what? He's still going to bless you. 
He's still going to bless you. He's still going to bless you. But, see, when you're walking in alignment, you know, you got to talk to him. God, I'm struggling with that thing thing. You know what I'm talking about, God. I, st- I know I was I, – I thought I was done with the sugar, and I thought blah, blah, but, God, I, I, I don't know, but I fell back victim again. But, see, that's all it is. God just wants – he just wants the intimate see, the intimate relationship, intimate. Come on, man, talk to me. He wants to be intimate with you about that thing thing that you're dealing with, whatever that thing is. And everybody's thing is different. But you got a thing. Oh, yes, you do. You got a thing. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, 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 no, I don't have a thing. No, my life is fine. I'm married. I have three kids. We're wonderful. We have a white picket fence, money in the bank. We travel four times a year. What is he talking about? This could not apply to me. Listen to me, man. Listen to me, woman. I'm talking specifically to you. Hello. I'm talking specifically to you. Yes, you. You ain't too big for this call. You just right, and you right on time. So point number one, when we get off the call, ask the Holy Spirit to give you a revelation about this word alignment. I said it. I didn't stutter. If you're not in alignment with God, the blessings won't flow. I never said you won't be successful. I never said you can't make some money. I never said you can't find a girl or the man. Of, I never said that, but it's totally different when you get God involved. That's when it becomes the miraculous. That's when it becomes the supernatural. That's when it becomes OMG, right? It's a big difference. And again, no pressure, no pressure, no pressure. All we're saying is, are you walking in alignment? In alignment. That's it. Ain't nobody trying to judge you. Ain't nobody better than you. Hello. All we're saying is, we just want to get in alignment. We make mistakes every day. Ask for forgiveness and move on. As long as you're moving towards alignment, Man, you my man. You my woman. I'm happy. I'm proud. I'm excited, okay, because that's what I'm doing. Okay, I'm moving towards alignment. That's what I'm doing. I don't want to hear about nobody. Oh, you're not in alignment. Shut up. I hate when people start trying to tell you what you're not as if they are. Who I, you know, I love how T.D. Jake said it. When, they, when you try and he said, I hate it when people try and tell me, you know, what I got to do to get into heaven or what I got to do to be accepted, as if how you know you already in. You can't lock me out if you ain't even in. So that's, be careful. Stay away from them people that come off with that judgmental tone. You know what I mean? Just tune them completely out. Trust me. They know. It's funny. They know not to come talking to me. They know better. I don't know who, to, who sent them the memo, but them folk, they know. They don't run up on me because I'll, I'll – look here. Before Paul was Paul, he was Saul, if you catch what I'm saying. So I'll say something. Don't, don't come at me like that. There's a certain way you need to come at people. That's why I'm telling you there's no judgment, brother. There's no judgment, sister. I'm just saying, hey, point number one, we all need to be striving to be in alignment. You got it? All right. Now ask the Holy Spirit for a revelation on that. All right, let's go to point number two. Point number two, before a vision is birthed, a burden is carried. Let me say it again for those of you writing it down. Before a vision can be birthed, B-I-R-T-H-E-D, before a vision can be birthed, Birth, a burden is carried. The size of whatever is fighting you in your life is the greatest prediction of your future. Now, how's that for perspective? One more time. Before a vision is birthed, a burden is carried. The size of whatever is fighting you in your life is the greatest prediction of your future. So the question I have for you that I want you to go before the Holy Spirit and ask for a revelation on is, what is your greatest fight right now? You see, I know you look good. I know you drive a nice car. I know you sound well when you go before people, and I know you're very professional, right? I know all that. And I know you know how to mask it up and act the part, and you look beautiful, and I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But my question to you I'm talking about that private thing that you hide, that that thing deep inside that you don't want nobody to know that you've been fighting, laboring through, harboring. I'm asking you, what is the greatest thing that you're fighting with right now? What is it? I don't know what it is. That's between you and the Holy Spirit. That ain't none of my business. But I do want you at the end of this call Spend 10, 
to 30 minutes asking. I don't want you to get on your knees and start running your mouth. I said, go before the throne of grace, ask the Holy Spirit to give you a revelation. So that basically sounds exactly like this. Hey, God, on this point number two that this man, Ramasio, just laid out, you know, talking about before a vision can be birthed, a burden is carried. And he talked about the size of whatever I'm fighting is the greatest prediction of my future. Holy Spirit, give me a revelation. Give me, make it crystal clear to me, so clear that Ray Charles, a blind man, could see it. What is my greatest fight? What is it that I'm fighting deep down in the privacy of my own life that no one but me and you know about? Talk to me. Now, the reason why we're extracting this out of you today is because what is the theme of the call? What is the theme? Launch into the what? Launch into the deep. The theme of the call is launch in. Don't walk. We said launch into the deep. And you got to go back and listen to part one to, to really get a full understanding what we're talking about today, guys. This is why this question is coming up. What, if, 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 if my greatest fight that I'm fighting deep inside of me is tied to the promise, it's tied to the greatest prediction of my future, I've got to know what I'm fighting. I've got to know. I've got to be crystal clear. What is it that I won't tell my mama? What is it that I won't tell my lady? What is it that I won't tell my brother? What is it that I'm fighting deep inside? Because my future is dependent upon me winning that fight. Oh, boy, that's a, oh, my God, my God, my God. That's a heavy word right there. And can you believe it? That's free of charge. No charge. <laughs> No charge, all that for free, for free. That's what I'm talking. See, that's the type of value you get on this platform, for free. All right, let's go to let's go to point number three, and then we out of here. Point number three. You ready? This is the year of right now. Many of you have wrote down your dreams. You have wrote down. You've been praying. You you've been consecrated. You you know what it is you're expecting God to do for you. You know what it is. Number three, I want to give you a statement, and I want you to ask for a revelation once this call is over. After point number three, we're getting off the phone. Call is over. Point number three, God wants you to get in so deep over your head so that you have to look only to God and trust him only to manifest that thing. I'm going to say it again. I want to say it nice and slow. Two more times. God wants you to get in so deep over your head that you only can look to God and you'll have to trust him to bring you through that thing. Remember the theme of this call. Launch into the deep. God wants you to get in so deep that your mama not going to be able to fully help you. Your girlfriend, your wife, she's not going to fully be able to give you that revelation. Your sister, your brother, ah, they're going to be there to support you maybe, but they can't help you on this one. Only it ain't but one person that can help counsel you. I'm sorry. I know I believe in mentorship as well, but the mentor, I'm so sorry. They're not going to be able to tell you exactly how to manifest this thing. And see, God and his brilliance and his omnipotence, God, what he does as a way of creating an intimate relationship between you and him, for him to teach you like only a great father could, he wants you to get so deep in over your head. Now, what do you, what, what, some of you are thinking, some of you are thinking I'm just talking about business. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm talking about relationships. Personally and professionally, I am talking about business. I'm talking about whatever it is. He wants you to get so, I'm talking about some of you have literally jumped off a cliff financially and said, I'm not going to do that profession anymore. I know I've done that for 30 years. That's all I'm going to know. But I heard the Holy Spirit tell me that I need to do X, Y, and Z, and I'm just going to jump and do it. 
I'm going to try. Ah, 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 I'm going to try it. If it don't work, I know how to go back to the last 30 years. You see what I'm saying? God wants you to get in so deep. And the reason why he wants you to get in so deep, because, see, now your total dependency is on him. Now this faith thing is no longer a mystery no more. This thing is really on trial. Come on, boy. This faith thing is really on trial. Because, see, Lord, I'm out here in the deep. You know I'm out here in the deep. You know this is foreign to me. You know I don't normally, this ain't the normal way I usually do things. You know I don't really know where I'm going. You know I don't really know how to do this thing. You know I'm scared. You know me, man. But I'm out here in the deep. As they say where I'm from, East Oakland, we out here, man. We out here. (laughs) We out here. I'm out here. All right. Here I am. I'm out here. Where you at, God? Where you at? And I'm letting you know, point number three, I want you to go and ask the Holy Spirit to give you a revelation about that. What does he mean? God wants me to get in so deep? He wants me to get in? Yes, so deep. Because the theme of this call is launch into the deep. And and if you really want to connect what I'm really saying, you must go back and re-listen to last week's call. You've got to hear when I talked about Peter. And he launched into the deep. You've got to hear it. You've got to get it. If you can connect it, oh, boy, you're coming in. Your harvest is coming in. You've got to be able to connect these two things. These are the three points, ladies and gentlemen, that I want you. We're about to get off the phone right now in one more minute. So you'll have 15 minutes left that I want you to meditate. That's all I want you to do. Ask the Holy Spirit, hey, listen, give me a revelation. So that means you're going to simply, first thing you ought to do when you open your mouth, Thank God. Just thank him. Number one, be grateful. First of all, the only way you're going to ever get the life you really want is you've got to be grateful for the life that you have. It doesn't matter how good, how bad. doesn't matter. First thing you got, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for this phone call. I thank you for this young man, whoever he is, wherever he is, for him to come on that call and talk directly to me. Lord, I thank you for sending a messenger. I thank you. Lord, I thank you for the bad things in my life. I thank you for the good in my life. I thank you for the ups and the downs. I thank you for the things I know and the things I don't know. Lord, I just want to let you know. I thank you. I, I know I'm not a, 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 a super A student on everything. I know I'm not a super perfect person. But, Lord, I thank you. You woke me up this morning. Be grateful. Come on, somebody. Number one, this is how you open up your prayer. Be thankful. And, Lord, number two, Lord, I, I ask you for forgiveness. I know I'm a work in progress, Lord, but I ask you for forgiveness. I, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. Nobody knows it, but I'm struggling. Lord, I ask you for forgiveness. And then number three, here it is, Lord, I want to invite you to give me a revelation about these three points. This young man today, he spoke on some things that, that were, I don't quite fully understand. He talked about alignment, and I don't really know what that really means, you know, being in alignment with you. Lord, I, it sounds too big. What does he mean? Help me understand. You know my level of comprehension, Holy Spirit. Can you make that thing bespoke? Can you make that thing tailor-made just for me? That's what I need. Number two, Lord, you know, he talked about, you know, uh, before a vision can be birthed, a burden has got to be carried. Man, that's pretty strong words. What's this man talking about? A burden has got to be carried. What is he talking about? Holy Spirit, can you please bring clarity to my mind so I can understand what this means for me? And lastly, Holy Spirit, what is he talking about, that you want me to get in so deep so I only have to look to you and I can only trust you to be able to manifest what it is that I'm after? Can you please make this make sense to me? And then I want you to be quiet, and I want you to say thank you in advance. Say, Lord, I may not understand everything, but I thank you in advance because you are a God that you, I'm your child, and you said that whenever a man, lacked, man or woman, whenever we lacked wisdom, you said all we had to do was ask. That's what you said. There was no other qualification than that. You said, ask, and it shall be given to me. That's what you said. Okay? So I'm going to be quiet, and I'm asking for wisdom, and this is where I want you to just to shut up, just to be quiet and just sit there. Just sit there, just sit there, just sit there for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. 
And I, I don't know what the Holy Spirit is going to say to you, but he's going to say something. I don't know what the unction in your spirit that he may unction you to do, think. I don't know, but something's going to happen. You know how I know? Because this is the year of right now. That's how I know. This is the year of right now. This is the year of right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Ramasio Folcher. I'm the California kid. I'm out of here. This call is over. I'll see you next week for part three. Goodbye, everybody.